Emmanuel, God is with us. Emmanuel, God is with us. I just thought I'd show you my chicory flowers. Aren't they gorgeous? They're so pretty. They look even prettier in person on camera. They look day glow. In person, they are a perfect baby blue with no purple in them. And they just been loving these overcast late May days we're having. It's just been exactly what they I've never seen them bloom like this before. So it's kind of fun. There's the, the bush that's, it's sit, one of the runners fell over. So the bush fell over. These are perennial in my area. So although it looks like it's dying, it's not. It'll be back with a full set of cabbages next year and um this is what she put out and i'm like okay i am there for you because i mean obviously for the bloom stand to be three foot long fall on the floor and then put out two foot long floral canes that means that this daisy this chicory is saying it's actually endive is saying this is a spot for endives in the world. Let me help you. Okay. That <clears throat> beautiful caterpillar there. It's got little legs on him and everything. And um, I guess he likes zinnia flowers. I don't know what mom put a caterpillar on a little zinnia flower like that. Maybe there was some other stuff in here that he ate. I don't know. But um, y'all know I love me some butterflies. So. Whatever kind of butterfly he's going to be, he's going to flit around my garden someday. Hopefully. Well, it's that busy time preparing for the summer garden. Takes a lot of work. Next, um, this is a seed haul from Baker's Creek. They got the Minnesota Midget in. And I've had really good luck with these as um, a June melon planting. So they take like... I think 60, 65 days, other places, they take about um, 90 days usually in my garden. But with my new technique, maybe I can cut it down to 60 days here. And then this is Crane Melon. They had this melon listed as a 85-day um, melon. But um, in my experience, this is a quick melon. It's like 65 days. And this is a melon that is from the west coast so it is actually 65 days in my climate making it much faster than any other melon for me um, uh, asian melons japanese melons all of those are from short day and so all of those actually will give me a melon in 65 days but most melons are from long day climates and i have to add 33 percent to the day length to um to the amount of days to get fruit and then they gave me another packet of japanese mustard seeds which i will save until um next year or um maybe if um since i have the ones i got in the last pack in the ground maybe if those do good and people enjoy them maybe somebody will want some of these seeds in my area and i'll give them some so because i got extras okay. now Let's get planted. First we got our Minnesota midgets. And melons can be planted pretty close. It's not a problem. It doesn't stunt their growth. They don't give you any less food. So I'm gonna put um, three seeds in each of these. These are all bush melons. So they don't get, these will not give you those long vines. If you want long vines, these only get about um, between three to five foot long. So they're not, that when they say they're midgets, they're midgets, but the melons are a nice size. And they sweeten up good in my weather. And these are the crane seeds that you can see they're a little bit bigger. So wow, these might be some really good um, crane melons that I'm getting seed from. I'm going to pick out the biggest seed and hope that results in the biggest melon. See, I got um, some seed are really big and some seed are the size. Like that seed's kind of dinky. So since I have a choice of bigger seed, I'm going to go with the bigger seed. You see? Yeah. 
nice. See if I have some other big ones in there since they have so much diversity in here. Oh yeah, that's a nice seed there. Yeah, that's a good one. I found that the, the seed quality makes a difference in the strength of the plant. So if you can get higher quality seed, I have found that it matters. Um, your homegrown seed for some reason, because it's so fresh, it's not as big a deal. So there's my whole melon patch. That's a whole melon patch there. And um, a six pack. Yeah. And I'm going to put that right next to my watermelon patch and my okra patch. And I'm just, with these seeds, you just want to get them underneath some soil. So I just take my finger and this soil is dry and just shove them in there. Let's see, do that again and again. And then I firm the soil over. I've been taught to firm the soil uh, so that it makes contact. Um, Melon seeds germinate really, really easy. Melon and pumpkin, curcubits, melon and pumpkin, and watermelon, they germinate really easy. And in my area, the seedlings don't have as many pests as other seeds do, so. There we go. And I will water this in. Here's an update on my melon patch. And I'm telling you guys that Minnesota Midget loves my environment. I don't know what to say about that. Um, one side is Minnesota Midget. I've been eating Cheetos, y'all. I, I was doing this and I got hungry. And um, one side is Crane Melon. These are melons that were made in California. And they have an Asian root. But the germination over there is horrible. It's like 30% germination. So maybe it's a little bit slower to germinate than the Minnesotas. I planted three in each pot. I got three out of this pot, two out of this pot, and two out of this pot. So the Minnesota Midget gave me um, like 85% germination. And I'm sure the other two are gonna be coming. Melons are great for germinating. And um, so that's great. And the crane melons, they're just slow poking along, you know. But we'll see. Maybe they're just a little bit later. This is a seven day update. So these came up yesterday, which was day seven. And, and those came up yesterday, which is day seven. So maybe the rest of the melons will come up within um, another week. We'll see what happens. And because I need these planted out in June. So that I have them in the ground for June, July, August, September is when I want my melons, you know. And um, for the stragglers, I'll take them in October. And November would be great to <laughs> show you my watermelon patch. These are the watermelons that went in the ground. I think it's been about a week ago and they are really enjoying this hot combo. Go plant some of these. Yeah. These Minnesota midgets, I'm going to try my first batch out in the ground and see how it goes. They got a little leaf on them. So, I think this one and that one look like and that one looks pretty good too. So, yeah. And I think I'm going to plant this one on my safe side. Yeah. That's what we'll okay. do first. I planted out my first melon. That's a crane melon. And I planted out some of my peppers. I don't know which is which, but I planted one Nardello, one Shishito, and one Marconi. I think the Marconi's um, growing a little faster than the others, so I think that one might be the Marconi. And those two would be the Shishito and the um, 
Nardella? Yeah. Find some hey guys, I went into the house <laughs> to um, eat because I was hungry. I was like, oh, I'll just do these things when I get back. We had summer rain again. This is the second summer rain in Southern California. And I was like, it's cold out here. I had I had I had to put on some shoes and a coat. And if you guys know anything about me, I am a rugged, kind of barefoot and pregnant type gardener. I don't do all those um extra clothes in the garden. I just come out here in a little slip dress or a old lady house dress and do my thing. But it's wet out here. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do this, but I need to. So let me just get going. Oh my goodness. Look at the bugs eating my watermelon. It's a good thing it's watermelon. It's not going to be a problem. Well, I guess it's good to do it in the rain. But it's uncomfortable, guys. It's uncomfortable. So... Let me get going. We had a little shower. It's another like fourth of an inch of rain. I see this dirt didn't even get wet. So we got our little four plants out. These are Minnesota midgets and planting them is easy. Okay. You see how I'm having to go through all of these changes here, but it's gonna be worth it. And um, I'm just finding a soft spot. So there we go. That's good. Yeah, that's real good. That's real good there. Uh, I'll just put the rest of them in the ground. Two, why not? We have four. You can plant these melons pretty close together. They are um, midget melons, Minnesota midgets. They don't have really long vines, so it's not like you have to worry about, oh my God, I'm gonna have these massive vines you aren't i think they might go up to six feet if you give them really good conditions and three feet a lot of times too you can plant them pretty close they don't mind being crowded what they'll do is send word of who gets to grow first and whoever gets to grow first grows first and then everybody else has to wait their turn that's how they do it. Um, each of these put on a whole lot of melons. You can go back and see some of my previous season videos if you want. I took off my shoes because I certainly don't want to crush any other seedlings in my um, vigor. So I'm just making a little hole, sticking it in there. And uh, there you go. This one over here, I didn't do a real good job with it. Let me just press it in a little bit. They barely have a root system, so I have to be real tender with them. There we go with that. And I have just one more. Just one more melon. And what I want I'm, I'm, I have a few more melons that I'm going to plant over here. I have four more so far. But I don't want to get crazy with it. I want to see how these manage. You know, if they make it just fine, then I can add more. And if they don't, you know, I have to come up with a new plan. But I see where these beans are growing. As it gets warmer and warmer, um, the beans will stop. The Minnesota midgets won't stop. They will climb the same trellis that the beans are on now. Well, there they are. There's some Minnesotas over there. And there are some Minnesotas over there. Yep. It's an overcast day. Perfect day to plant stuff out so they don't go into as much shock. Yeah. I'm feeling good about that. Jesus loves you, and I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed, beautiful.